Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and today we're going to be taking a look at the cheapest red light therapy torch that you can find. It's this Convoy S2 Plus with the 660 nanometer LED in it, and you can find it for $17 on AliExpress with free shipping. And there may be some cheaper tactical flashlights that I've found in the past on Amazon or eBay, but this Convoy brand is a highly regarded one. I found them on some of the flashlight forums that this is a famous brand that's very trustworthy. And this particular flashlight does feel very nice. It's got nice weight to it. it feels very solid. Feels like it'll last a long time. It's got a very simple one button control and then if you do kind of a halfway press you can cycle through different brightness settings and even kind of a pulsing or strobing setting so you can kind of get some some pulsing benefits if you want to try that out and really all that matters is not the price but it's does it deliver the right amount of intensity the right wavelength and using it properly and that's all you need you don't need a lot of fancy gimmicks or marketing or things like that you can get something that's only 17 dollars and get started with red light therapy but let's do a quick verification of the wavelength. And we see here it's reaching about 657. Uh, so pretty much right on uh, 660, maybe a little bit plus or minus. Um, so that's a really good start. So we got a nice crisp peak and we've got the right wavelength. And again, you can trust this manufacturer is using a very specific LED that you specify when you order. So we didn't have any doubts about that. So let's check the power output. Right now I've got it to the second highest output setting. This is a setting I like because the next setting is, is a little too hot for me. Um, so I'm gonna hold it right up to the Thermopile power meter and see what we can get. And you see the number there is kind of slowly increasing and the size of the aperture is perfect so we can kind of capture all the light leaving the flashlight. And so it settles at around 612, and so that's 612 milliwatts. And remember, for this power meter to convert milliwatts to milliwatts per centimeter squared, we need to divide by the area, which is actually pi. And remember, if you're, we're trying to compare this to like a laser, anything above 500 milliwatts for a laser, that's like a class four laser. So this is higher power than like a class four la laser, even on the second highest brightness setting. And so just a quick math on that brightness setting is almost 200 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So very high intensity just with a little flashlight. So now let's check the highest brightness setting. And again, it's just a soft press to cycle through the brightness settings. Very easy to use. And we see it jumps really high up more than double the last setting. So it settles at 1.53 watts, which is very high. And again, that's 1,500 milliwatts. So it's very high intensity, a lot of power. Just from a single diode, it's a nice high quality thing. But like I said, that could be pretty warm for some people, so you might want to use one of the lower settings. And on that setting, we can calculate almost 500 milliwatts per centimeter squared that is screechingly high intensity and uh you know 487 milliwatts per centimeter squared to be exact that's a very high intensity again just a single diode now if you want to avert your eyes i'm going to set it to the flashing or kind of pulsing mode and we'll see what we get for in terms of power but i'm just going to capture it all into the sensor so you know, your eyes probably won't see much. But you see it drops back down because, you know, when you're pulsing, maybe your peak, you know, if we assume it's a duty cycle of 50%, maybe the peak power is double this number, but, you know, it's kind of averaging out. So it's a good way to get a higher peak intensity and then your average intensity, which is kind of what we display because the thermopile has kind of a slower way of, of averaging out the intensity. So now we get about 430 milliwatts. So at 430 milliwatts, again, that's more like the average milliwatts. That's 136 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So it brings it back down. So maybe the peak is closer to 860, but it averages it out because it's about half the average intensity. So that's a nice way to get higher peaks of intensity and then kind of reducing that thermal load on your skin. And we're going to try to measure that pulse frequency in case anyone kind of cares about what that is. 
So I had to change around some of the settings, but we got about 11 hertz. So, you know, that's kind of the frequency. And remember, this is more of a frequency to maybe disorient people or try to distract people. It's not really meant for any kind of special red light therapy application. But one of the major points of pulsing is not necessarily the frequency. It's just that you get higher peaks and then can get some cooling in between the pulses. And that's it for this review. It's only a $17, 660 nanometer wavelength flashlight, or sometimes they call it a torch if you're from outside the United States. But you can hear a lot of people say that their red light therapy flashlights are red light therapy torches, so it sounds more exotic, but it's actually a normal word used in the rest of the world. And then the only other thing you got to get is a battery and a charger separately, and those are pretty easy to find online. And because it runs on a battery, it's a DC-powered unit, there's really no measurable EMFs that you have to worry about. So again, it's a great way to get started with red light therapy, where it's very easy to use. Usually you press it right on the skin to maximize that penetration and absorption. And even with red light, you get better penetration with skin contact than you would with near-infrared light using non-contact because a lot of reflection losses. You can see all this reflection losses. It's the same for the invisible near-infrared. So that's why, with especially with smaller devices, you want to get that skin contact. And again, you just kind of hold it in each each spot I do about 20 seconds per spot if you have a problem area you just kind of go around that problem area whether it's your knee or your elbow or your wrist hold for 20 seconds per spot and then you trade a bunch of points around that your target area and then if you want more systemic benefits if you want whole body benefits you might target the tibia the forehead the gut some lymph nodes maybe acupuncture points and trigger points and you can really get a full body effect and you don't have to spend all day trying to treat yourself with a flashlight you can get systemic whole body effects if you use some targeted areas so hopefully that helps this is a high powered flashlight only 17 dollars on aliexpress right now and uh you know it's a great way to get started with targeted red light therapy it's a good complement if you want deeper penetration with some of your non-contact pan panels if you want more targeted treatment areas this is a good way to get going so anyway thanks for tuning in We'll catch you next time.